Well, hello and welcome to another hardcore Minecraft episode. And today, yes, of course, we are planning to do more amazing stuff to the pyramid. But not only, we are also looking to do this. Okay, I am jumping towards there. Okay, I'm right there, almost there. Okay, we are there. Okay, do you see this? Yep. This is a big, big farm which needs some sorting problem solving because we are currently almost full and we need all of the seeds not exist over here but to do that we are gonna need to make a special sorting system for all of those chests for all of the wheat to be sorted into a chest and all of the seeds to be composted because we don't need that many seeds Right, we do not need that many seeds, so I'm just gonna start with do, doing that and see you after we finish all of that madness. And I am done. It took me a while, I guess, longer than expected, but we have finished it, so let's see what is happening here behind the scenes. Okay, so this is the main farm, which is outputting the wheat and seeds. And we have collected everything through the hoppers, like so. We're just gonna take a while to take all of them back, but hopefully it's gonna keep up with the thing. So basically we have a filter over here that is getting only wheat all the way down there, which we have made a humongous hole with all of chests over there. And the seeds are being ejected, or I should say, destroy it in here yep they are being destroyed i guess it could probably make another one maybe it's not gonna keep up looks like it's getting a little bit more bigger or something and uh, we're gonna get some bone meal from that but i guess apart from that that's okay it's not clogging that much i guess it's gonna keep up probably and all the way here is where everything is being stored and i guess i'm gonna need a crafting table and put it over here and uh, craft this into some hay bales to make more space <laughs> of course we want to build stuff with hay bale like or maybe with the wheat we want to build more mud bricks mud blocks and stuff now let's move on to another thing and that is the pyramid oh what do we have here some bone mill yeah, that's right. My bone mill farm, which is this, and also this. Producing a lot of bone mill. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's a lot of things. Give me that. Perhaps you're wondering, what am I doing with this beautiful block? Which is not a block, it's a vine. Well, let me show you what it can do. It can do so many things. First, let's jump into the pyramid and... Uh, hmm. Where does an alien plant looking like thing fits the vibe? Oh. It does fit the vibe. Okay. Alright, see. How about this? Hmm. Does that give it more contrast and contour? Oh, surely does. Mm-hmm. -hmm -hmm. The alien looking like plants are here and they are not gonna fear. Well, let's put all of those over here and more. And the trees have been alienified. Yeah, <laughs> if that's a word, now it is alienified. Well, it looks like a cool looking mushroom alien thingy, which I like, but. This little blue thing, or twisting vines, it's very beautiful. And I've been thinking to put it more all over the place. Because it's so delicious. But yet, we need some red vines as well. Because red, it's actually very, very cute. And where can we put some red vines? Well, let's just find out. Well, in order to get red vines, you need to find them in the nether, but I have them into my base. And I'm just gonna... 
casually get some of them from here because there is so many and yeah we'll just harvest them from here pretty simple and easy right okie dokie we got so many red vines now it's time to see where do we possibly be putting those beautiful astonishing amazing blocks well could fit them over here like so and they will be growing all the way down which is going to make a very beautiful contrast and uh <laughs> it's going to make things look very very natural and alien looking like let's see how good it looks oh yeah that's giving so much contrast and it makes everything super nice let's make everything viney yep you cannot make this stuff up that's a lot of contrast and a lot of red Ooh, do you see my cape it's pretty cool yep i think that's really nice and it gives so much contrast to the walls and makes this place very fairly amazing fairly amazing huh. I'm gonna need some spore blossom to make this even more alien like. Well, the spore blossom is a little bit difficult to get, but we'll get it, I hope. Now, let's get some of this. Probably a little bit more, because we need to hang. Ah, uh, that was not what I wanted to do. Very difficult to navigate those stairs. I wonder who made them. I want to put these amazing glowing berries up there. But it's going to take a while because it's very difficult to get up there. And we have hanged those things. You cannot put them on the honey because the honey is crazy and you cannot attach anything to it. And now I am over here on the slime blocks, which are very slippery. But I guess overall that looks pretty good, huh? It's gonna grow very, very nicely, hopefully. Very wild, how I like it to be. And uh, yeah, it's gonna give more green, more contrast, and more three-dimensional shape over here. Okay, let's move on. Ooh, red vines definitely giving so much contrast and a lot of vibes. Okay, now, I guess I'm gonna be looking for some... Uh, spore blossom i do have some spore blossom i can get from my old projects but i want to get new ones but i don't really know where do you find a lush cave because lush caves are very difficult to find but i think i know one so i'm just trying to get there wish me luck and we have finally found a lush cave it took me a while and we literally just Hello. Here we go. That's what I wanted. Or blossom. Now I can go home. But I guess I should probably collect most of the, most of the spore blossom I have over here because they are quite rare. And uh, wow, this place is beautiful. Oh, look at the cute bee spinning around. How <laughs> so cute. I wonder, does it interact with these? I mean, those are flowers, right? All right, now let's get right to the business okay let's put those beautiful azalea things blossoms up there so they're gonna make very beautiful amazing things but the question is where do we put them i guess i'm gonna put one there one there and in every single corner right all right i don't have any blocks let me just get blocks and put them there okay so we have put them up there we're gonna we, we put we put two over there and one there and one in the opposite corner and now we have like an spore alien looking like atmosphere over here it's like in the nether but instead of like weird particles or dark particles or even white particles we've got green and that's pretty suiting very nice and moody but if you don't use particles those particles are not gonna do much but uh, yeah, they are definitely not impacting performance of the frames, but I think it's very, very nice. And I have three more. Hmm. 
I can put one more over here and one more over here and probably one more over here right to be a little bit even more particles you know more drama it's pretty nice it's very very sweet now let's see what else i am gonna do over here because we have done so so much how about to make the entrance yep it's time to make the entrance how do you make the entrance well let's just collect some blocks such gold blocks and some other interesting blocks such as nether blocks since this is an alien team thingy we need some nether blocks so let's go and chop some nether trees right all right there is some uh, red thingies we're gonna need red thingies as well so i'm gonna use the netherite hoe for that it's quite really simple to harvest those amazing blocks with a hoe because it's instant mining them very fast but we also want this I love this. It's my favorite type of trees. Literally, my favorite type. And there is the blue ones, which I also want. So, <laughs> it's gonna take a while. So, buckle up, because we're gonna skip this part. Because, you know, nobody wants to see me collecting a billion blocks. That's gonna take a long time. Alright, so we back in the pyramid with a lot of uh, warped stem and crimson stem. Also warped word block and uh, nether word block. Also some of these things, whatever that is. And we are thinking to change some of these things. Because we do not want to be silly, do we? Now let's see what is the exact center of this thing. And uh, we shall make it look pretty with those beautiful blocks. All right, that's, that's a fairly large hole into the pyramid, I think. And that's fairly the center of it. Looks like we broke an extra block or not. Hmm, let's recalculate. And here it is, the grand entrance, which, by the way, it's not finished yet, but I'm still thinking about the details because it's quite looking, it was looking quite flat at the moment. And in the interior, it needs more stuff going on. I guess I'm going to use some of these warp blocks in the corners to make it not look that crazy flat. And we also have done a small mini floor, which is quite cute and uh, very alien looking like. And I'm thinking to replicate two trees. Two of those trees, so we're gonna need some of those materials, which I don't remember if I have all of them over here. I do not. I need honey, slimes, wines, amethyst, and uh, yeah, let's replicate that and build two of those over here, I guess. But I guess we could try to make them bigger, right? It's gonna be so beautiful. I'm gonna make one there and one there, and they are probably going to be bigger. Well, be right back with materials, and after we construct all of them, I guess. And we are done with the first alien-looking-like tree, and I changed the design a little bit. I made it more three-dimensional, and I think it looks super stunning. Hopefully no creepers are going to spawn on the blocks and destroy them. Oh well, they will not spawn in the blocks and destroy them. Yeah, I think the tree looks super, super nice. It's time to replicate the tree over here. Oh, also, huh, looks like this is growing, but it's gonna take a long time until it's gonna reach eight blocks. Anyway, let's build that over here. And the second tree has been completed, but I guess I'm gonna need some bone meal, so let's get some bone meal from the bone meal farm over here. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, it's actually overflowing. Huh, good thing I'm actually using it because it's overflowing. And yep, let's bomb mill this up and should be ready to go. All right. Very, very three dimensional. Beautiful. Nice. But this thing is still missing something. 
and I know what's missing. So be right back. Oh, let's reveal it. Oh, that's a little bit better. But I still feel like I need a little bit more. Hmm, maybe we can put a little bit more over there too. I guess I could do that. Let's go. Hmm, where do we put this thing? Do we put it over here like so, like a cross? I guess that's gonna look pretty not that good. Hmm, maybe an X. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's very excessive, but <laughs> I love excessive. And it's raining. Hmm. Raining, raining, raining. Well, I guess let's use these blocks. I guess we could technically... Maybe, wait, hold on. Hmm, I'm thinking to use those blocks to make a little bit of a texture, a little bit more three-dimensional, but we'll see. I guess this rain is not vibing that well. Uh, okay. Still thinking it needs a little bit more dynamic, I guess. Huh? Oh, I think that's exactly what it was missing. Some more color. Now, I'm thinking get some moss blocks and put them around here or something. Want to make some more contrast a little bit more green or some maybe i'm gonna use this oh yeah that's gonna look pretty sweet i guess a little bit more details around the corners like so mm -hmm. that's pretty sweet now hello mr golem what are you doing i guess it's time to go sleep gotta say this looks very fairly super cool and i am loving it but I think this could spawn monsters, so mm, I guess I should put some stuff underneath carpets. So, uh, yeah, maybe you could get some more lights or something. Well, well, we'll see. All right, let's move on to the next stage of this project. And that looks a little bit better, I am sure of it. Well, I guess, what do you guys think? Oh, hello. Where am I? What is this place? Oh, what is going on over here? So mysterious. Oh, <laughs> very crazy. Oh, well, now that the sun is setting, what do you guys think how that looks like? Mm -hmm. We still need to fix the light issue, but that's going to be fairly, very, very easy. So... How do we do that? Well, basically, we get some carpets from the carpets farm, which is this. And uh, get the carpets and place them very simple and easy. After we remove some of these. Okay, get some light blocks such as that. Place them like this because we have a billion of those and we do not really mind and now we can fairly just mask them with some carpets which gives light and also some contrast and color and contour i think that's fairly very very nice and i'm thinking to finish today's um, video with some more details i don't know what else i can do but we'll be thinking this carpet gave me so much idea hmm Fairly interesting thing. Hmm. The carpet, it's quite giving. I think I'm gonna keep the carpet inside of here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can put some carpet over here. It's gonna look like a cool pattern or something, you know? Why can't I put it in here? Oh, weird. Okay, I guess it's gonna be very difficult to place it down. Very difficult. <laughs> but to be honest, it gives a little bit more depth and contrast, which I am definitely looking towards that. So let's get more carpets and let's carpet the place up. Well, now that we have carpeted everything up, it looks absolutely stunning. The green, it's a little bit darker than I expected, but surely it's not bad at all. It looks like a crazy alien ship which it's definitely a crazy alien ship with all of that going on around there. 
which I am super happy and stoned and stoned? Huh, is that a word? I guess it is now. Well, hmm, what do you guys think? I am super in the mood to share some uh, opinions with you guys. So uh, what do you think about this? Hmm? It's a very, very nice place, which I very much love. And I think it's super sweet with all of the good stuff going on around. Oh yeah, it's very, very much a lot of vibes. And I've been working so hard today and yesterday and the other day for making this place super, super, super nice. And I am super happy. Oh, actually, let's just fix this really quick. I do not think I like it that well. Hmm. Ah, that's a bit better. I like, uh, I like those patterns. This is my favorite. The patterns are quite awesome. So... With all said, with all that said, thank you so much for watching today's episode and hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everyone. Have a really beautiful day.